Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on percentages. Uh, so in this video we'll cover calculating the percentage of an amount. Uh, there's a few more skills on this topic and uh, we'll cover each in a separate video. Uh, but this is kind of the fundamental skill uh, in calculating percentages. Uh, so for example, calculate 16% of 60. Now there's two ways we can do this. Uh, we can either use a calculator or we can do it manually uh, in our heads or on paper, however you want to describe it. Uh, but first of all, uh, let's use a calculator. Uh, so uh, we need to convert this 16% into something more workable. Uh, so we'll use a decimal equivalent of 16%. Uh, so to get the decimal equivalent of a percentage, you just take the percentage, divide it by 100, and that gives you uh, your decimal. So in this case, that's 0 0.16. Now, all we have to do is multiply this decimal uh, by the value or the amount that we're finding the percentage of. So in this case, it's 60. So 0 0.16 times 60. And if we bring up our calculator, we can do it here. 0 0.16 times 60 equals 9.6. So 9.6 is our answer. Now, as I've said, we can also do this some uh, manually or without the use of a calculator. Uh, so in order to calculate 16% of 60, we'll just break it down into more sizable, manageable chunks. Uh, so 16% uh, we can rewrite as 10% plus 5% plus 1%. Uh, so uh, the easiest to get, first of all, is 10%. So to find 10% of uh, any value, you just divide it by 10. Uh, so 60 divided by 10 equals 6. So that's our 10%. Uh, what about 5%? Well, it's just half the value of 10%. So we have 3. Uh, that's 5%. And now 1% you find by just dividing the 10% value by 10. Uh, so uh, 6 divided by 10 is 0 0.6. So that's 1%. So if we add all of these together, we get 6 plus 3 plus 0 0.6, which is 9.6. So as you can see, that's the same answer as we got before. Uh, so that for, therefore, that is 16% of 60. So being able to work with percentages is an essential skill. Uh, so it's important that you get a lot of practice. You can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions and you get instant feedback on all of them. So this is really good if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and where you need to improve and so on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight there.